Okay, welcome to another video on this series on uh, using uh, AI uh, like ChatGPT uh, to write your chapter one. Uh, so we are covering every section in chapter one and today we are going to talk about the use of ChatGPT prompts. Could be ChatGPT, could be Dipsy, could be uh, 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 any other generative AI to write your research paper, uh, chapter 1.1, 1 .1 background of the studies specifically. So below is the prompt. You can see this here, there's nothing here to hide. You can see that the first thing we have there is uh, the instruction to the AI, which you can see. Yeah, you can see that. And then we have the structural can see that the structural requirement and then the citation requirement and then the specific chapter instruction to the AI and we are covering chapter 1.1 1 .1 background of the studies you can see this is it you can pause your video to copy this prompt as I said earlier we're not going to paste this prompt anywhere because it's just an extract from our 70 page uh, uh, automated prompt that can write any kind of research from beginning to the end using any generative AI free of charge. You can download the prompt uh, in the description section below. We also have other prompts like prompts on how to bypass AI detectors like uh, turn it in and the rest. That's to humanize, humanize your write-up and don't make it look more like an AI written uh, 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 written paper. So that's it. And uh, we are going to copy this prompt now immediately. We'll take it to our ChatGPT, as you can see, this ChatGPT. And then we'll paste it here. The prompt is automated. So it's going to ask us some few questions. You can see that's a question. Absolutely, before we begin writing chapter 1.1 1 .1 background of the studies, I need you to provide following details. This information will be used consistently throughout your entire research paper. Okay, now you can see these are the, now we've already answered those questions. Our topic C remains gender differences in life event stress and workers' productivity on Oshimili South Delta State. Case study Oshimili South Delta State. Target population is 205 and all that. So we have this all sorted out and we are going to copy all this. Is the answer to this question it asks. And then we'll paste it here. We are running this and it immediately to start writing. Can you see? That started writing. And it comes with citations. Can you see? These are citations. It comes with citations. And the citation is accurate. However, we also have the prompt for citation and reference uh, authentication. It runs automatically to ensure that your citations and references are correct in, across uh, different peer-to-peer uh, -peer, uh, uh, platforms. I get it, me write-ups across the net so you can see it's done it's done so that's it and then that's all so if you can copy the prompt as i said earlier if you have not subscribed to our channel please you are missing a whole lot if you're in the academic field what we teach is not just prompts normal prompt engineering that is taught out there we are here to give you out something we've researched for more than a year. Uh, we are the owners of mywordai.com. It's one of the first uh, academic, uh, uh, that is AI-powered uh, AI academic writing tool in globally. We have over 200,000 users uh, currently. So this is not something we are playing around with uh, and testing. It's something we are currently doing and people are paying for it. So we just decide to see how we can give back to the public. So enjoy it. You can pause the video, copy it, use it, and you'll be happy. You can give us a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, encourage us if you can, encourage us. We can do more. We can do more. We develop softwares too, uh, softwares that has to do with AI or any other softwares. Thank you. Thank you. We are out. Thank you.